Justin, thanks for joining us on Suns TV. Can you tell us how the boys have been since their return from the Christmas break? Yeah, look, we've had uh, an intense three weeks of training now and we're almost at the end of that block. So I think the players are looking forward to having a little bit of downtime before we really set ourselves to, to February and then obviously game mode with, um, with the NAB coming around really quickly now. Can you tell us what the focus is going to be over the next couple of weeks leading into that first NAB Challenge game? Yeah, look, as a, as a coaching group, I know we're meeting this afternoon really to discuss um, specific plans for individuals and, and plans collectively for the group in terms of really just topping them up and, and getting them into football mode now with the, the specificity of the game and, and where the game wants to go. I, I know Rodney's certainly happy with, uh, with how the guys have performed over the last few weeks, which has been fantastic in terms of their training and loading and, and all the work that the staff have put in has been great. So now it's really you know, it's time to prepare them to play football, which is probably the most exciting time that uh, I know the players are looking forward to it. Pre-season's uh, sort of coming to a close, but it's also an opportunity to see what work they've put in and how far they've come in terms of their training. So it's an exciting period of time over the next few weeks for the club players, staff. The players have spoken highly about the individualised programs you've implemented. Can you talk us a little bit about through that? Yeah, look, uh, obviously there's different different demands for players in the game and, and they all have different roles and responsibilities so what we've really tried to do is reflect that in training so I mean obviously older guys get a, a different program than some of the young kids that have just been drafted you know we've had some great results with some of those individuals in the gym with Zane some of the boys have put on four and five kilos whereas some of the other guys have been out on the road riding with Fergus or doing some uh, some running with Alex so we've really tried to tailor the program around the, the basis of what is the game for that individual what's it look like what's the coach's demands and then how do we we get the best out of the player from that perspective. So, look, I think it's been well received. Um, I think each player sort of feels like they're getting the, the results that, that they want to help them play football. So from that perspective, I think it's been really positive. Have any other, any players really stood out to you during the pre-season? Oh, look, I, I got uh, I got that question uh, thrown at me yesterday, and I must say it was a hard one to answer because um, not knowing the group um, that well at the moment, obviously I haven't seen them play football. I think a lot of them have made some really big steps forward. So, I mean, right through from the young players that came back early November, Lemons, uh, Kolodajny, there's been some really good improvement, Miller, etc. And then watching guys like Melchewski, um, Rosa, uh, I mean, they're making some really big steps forward at the moment in terms of their consistency and training. So, I mean, across the board, I think at all levels, um, each player seems to be improving at the level that we want. Um, and obviously now we set ourselves up for that footy-specific mode. Again, just uh, really that exciting time for these boys coming through in the next few weeks. You must be pleased with the numbers in the rehab group, um, two or three, sort of just after Christmas. I know a couple of more have added recently, but that seems to be expected at this time of year. Yeah, it is. Look, Lindsay and Alex have done a great job working with the with the rehab guys there. Um, I mean, one of the things, again, we've tried to focus on is really individual needs for each player. What are their injuries? What's their previous history? And putting a program together that really gets the most out of them, transitioning them into skills. So the coaches have certainly supported us on, on that. Um, it's good to have nice numbers out on the track, but uh, you blink and it changes quickly. So from our perspective, look, nothing changes. Changes. We, we keep setting our goals, targets, um, I, I guess in some ways being ruthless in terms of our standards, what we want to set on the track and where we're going collectively as a group. And those rehab guys have, have had a large part to play really in, in that also. And then when we get into the season, does the focus shift more onto recovery and preparation? Yeah, look, it does. I mean, there's still um, there's still opportunities in season. And look, it's not now that pre-season's officially finished. We've got guys that are all on different timelines and have different requirements. We've got guys that could play today, literally, if they had to, so that they're ready to roll out and start. And then we've got other guys now that are still working on some needs, whether it be first step quickness or, or repeat effort. There's still some things that, that players have to work on. Um, and that doesn't change in season either. There still are opportunities. Obviously with a lot of Saturday games, um, it gives us a great routine uh, which does enable us to do some work generally around that Tuesday, Thursday routine in season which uh, hopefully enables the players to continually get better and not sort of stagnate or go backwards which is, which is what we've seen sometimes uh, with AFL players. They tend to, to go into game mode and they don't get the work perhaps that they need to. Just finally, can you give us a quick update on David Swallow and Jago Amira? Yeah, look, both have been going really well. Um, Dave obviously joined Skills yesterday for the first time and, and look, to be honest, he was a bit rusty. He missed a couple of kicks. Uh, I think the boys certainly let him know about it. But look, it's great to have someone of his quality and experience back within the group. Jago is on a pretty specific program at the moment. He's still on target in terms of what we're setting with ex expectations and benchmarks. So it'd have to be say, say we're happy with his progress at the moment as well. So both of them are, are clearly doing a good job. Great work ethic, great approach to their training and appetite and also bring a lot to the to the group collectively as well. Thanks you Tom. No problems at all.